New details, you might recall that earlier this month we told you about a rescue that took place in the Sandia Mountains. A woman there fell more than 30 feet during a climb and had to be rushed to the hospital. Tonight, that woman is speaking with us here at KOB4 about her experience, the road to recovery, and also the unique perspective that she can provide. Our Feliz Romero spoke to her today. So Feliz, this is actually a pretty experienced climber we're talking about. Yeah, Trevor, Cassandra Aguirre has been climbing for more than a decade. This climb in particular, she has done every single year, but unfortunately, the mountain wasn't on her side this time. Cassandra Aguirre has been going on outdoor adventures since college, chasing and climbing waterfalls any chance she gets. Her love for the outdoor community even pushing her to become a mountain rescuer herself. The reason I do rescue is because it's my community that we go out for. Um, and it means a lot to me to be able to give back to that community because they've given so much to me. This month, however, she found herself on the other side of things, needing to be rescued. This is what we call traditional rock climbing where there isn't anything in the rock for protection. So you bring your gear with you, and as you climb up, you find places to slot protection into, and then you clip your rope that you're bringing up with you into it. On Saturday, August 3rd, she reached the top of her climb and was about to anchor her rope to a tree when suddenly... And the rock broke. And sometimes you have no control over like what the mountain gives and what the mountain takes. Aguirre fell more than 30 feet and tore every ligament in her knee. The New Mexico National Guard and a handful of rescue crews, including her own, rushed her to UNMH. To me, like seeing them in the sky meant that it would be okay. Um, because without them, we're not sure that I would have a lake today. A teacher by day, Aguirre says it's her community that's getting her through this hard time. My volcano family, we say a volcano that no hawk stands alone. And that's true. I know that I'm not alone in this journey because of the outpouring of support that is coming to me from Hawk Nation. Now, Aguirre is set to have extensive surgery in November to replace those four ligaments in her knees. She's also on sabbatical from Volcano Vista, so we have a link to her GoFundMe page attached to this story on KOB.com. Reporting in Albuquerque, Feliz Romero, KOB4.